Hi, it's Redheaded Riding Hood here, red for short. I'm gonna read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration. Cruelty, part one. When I'm riding Rusty, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, who stays with us, is usually lying at my feet or across my feet. No one in this family ever comes in without a tumultuous welcome from Rusty. And usually at meal times, he is sitting, hopefully, near the table just in case someone forgets the way a dog ought to be treated and throws him a scrap. But Rusty is not here at the moment. He has had an experience which has wounded his heart. Board and lodging. Within the next day or so, we have to pay a visit to the south of England and we cannot take Rusty with us. So Rusty had to have his board and lodging fixed up in kennels where they will be very kind and good to him. One day last week, Rusty was taken to the kennels, but Rusty refused to enter them. He shook and shivered and wept and slipped his collar and ran away. And in the end had to be bodily lifted and carried in and left. Rusty was of course broken hearted and terrified at leaving the people he knows and loves. But it is all right. We phoned to see how he was getting on. You would think he was an invalid in a nursing home and he has settled down and is quite happy. Roam the streets. I have just been reading an article in a newspaper which horrified me. This article says that every day strays and homeless cats and dogs are picked up, but in the summer months, in June, July, and August, every week they are picked up and literally by the hundred, by the hundred and many roam the streets homeless until they starve to death. This is because there are people who, when they go on holiday, simply turn their animals out and make no provision for them. Aww. This article goes on to say that quite often children get a present of a kitten or a puppy for Christmas or for a birthday for a week or two or a month or two. Some of them are thrilled with their new friend. Then they get tired of it and the animal is put out and left to wander and get lost and run over perhaps or starve. I hope no reader of this book will ever do this cruel thing to an animal. An animal cannot complain and cannot appeal for itself and that makes the cruelty all the worse. So I've said that this, like, this was written in 1970s, that this book is like, um, maybe a podcast or a social media post only like put into a book, you know, or a newspaper article to be old fashioned. <laughs> and so um, that is a good one. And I agree with it also. Yes, to be kind to animals and especially people. <laughs> Some people are cruel to people too. So, um, I am prayerful, but somewhat discouraged at the, uh, the, um, division in our country. So, we going to pray about that. And uh, felt the need to unfriend someone today for the horrible things they were saying about and um, about a candidate. thought about muting them, but um, I just unfriended them. I did not block them, but just, you know, a lovely person. Um, 
I'm sorry to have to do that, but sad. All right. Prayerfully. Don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.